Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss Cluster Centroids Algorithm for Handling Imbalanced Dataset. It is an undersampling technique for handling imbalanced data. In the previous videos, I have already discussed what are balanced and imbalanced datasets and what are the problems we will face with imbalanced dataset. Also, I have discussed a few techniques to handle imbalanced datasets in machine learning. In this video, I will discuss how can we use cluster centroids to handle imbalanced dataset? Cluster centroid is an undersampling technique where we remove unimportant instances from the majority class. That is, whenever we have an imbalanced dataset, there will be one class called as a majority class, another one is called as a minority class. So from this particular majority class, we will remove unimportant instances in this particular technique. Now the question comes in front of us is, how to identify unimportant instances. For that reason, what we do is, we will use something called as the clustering concept here. So what is clustering? Clustering is an unsupervised machine learning technique in which we create the clusters around the data points. For example, the two data points which are near to each other, they will be put into one cluster. The data points which are far away from one another, they will be put into different clusters here. I have already discussed the different clustering algorithms. The link for those videos is given in the description below. Now, once you create this particular clusters, we will consider the centroid. Based on this particular centroid, we will decide whether an instance is important or it is not important. If it is not important, we will remove it. If it is important, we will retain it. Now the question is, uh, what is the decision we need to apply so that we can say that the given example is important or it is not important. What we do here is, we have already calculated the centroid for a given cluster here. From that particular centroid, we will identify the farthest point. That particular point is not important for that particular data set. So that's the reason it will be considered as an important instance here. So we will select the far away instances from the centroid of a particular cluster as an important instance here. If a particular instance is very near to the centroid, such an instance is called as important instance because it is very near to the centroid and it will be important for that particular data set over here. That can be shown something like this. In this case, this will be the original data set containing two classes. One class is represented with the blue and another class is represented with green here. Blue is a majority class and green is a minority class here. Now minority class we don't touch here. From this particular majority class, we will go on removing the samples or the instances so that we will get this particular data set balanced here. Now the question is how to remove it. As I said earlier, first we need to create the clusters. In this case, I have shown two clusters here. The meaning is we have created the two clusters. We will get two centroids here. So this is the first cluster from this particular majority class. This is the second cluster for the majority class here. Now for these particular clusters, we have two centroids here. This is the first centroid and this is the second centroid over here. Now what we do here is from this particular cluster, we will identify the farthest point, the one which is far away from this particular, we can say that the centroid. So in this case, if you notice here, these two data points, this data point, this data point, and then this data point, as well as this data point, they are far away from this particular data point or you can say centroid, they will be removed here. With the same note, the same thing will be done for the second uh, cluster also. For this particular clusters, these three are the far away points as well as these four you can see here. Similarly, if you have any other data point which are far away, they will be removed. You can see here the one which is shown in red color. They are far away from these particular centroids from these two clusters here. Once you remove them, the data set will look something like this. And if you count this particular data points from both the classes, we will get somehow balanced here. That is both of them will be having almost equal what you can say that the instances in this case. So this is how we will apply the cluster centroid algorithm, which is an undersampling technique for handling the imbalanced data. I have already discussed the remaining uh, techniques to handle the imbalanced data. The link for those videos is given in the description below. Do follow those particular videos to understand how can we apply the different techniques to handle the imbalanced data in machine learning. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. 
press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching